Oregon Congressman Kurt Schrader back from Washington, D.C. Thank you for being with us. Thanks, Dan. Appreciate coming. And you're joining us here now to talk about some of the recent work that you've been doing in D.C. Um, and thank you, Representative Schrader, for joining us today. Sure. Yeah. Pleasure. Let's talk about the coronavirus. What do you think about the efforts out of D.C.? Uh, we've got our act together, it appears, uh, in re relatively short order. Uh, both houses, uh, both parties, and the president got together. We passed an $8.3 billion package that hopefully will uh, uh, help a lot of our state work here in Oregon as well as around the country. A lot of money for the CDC to make sure that they've got the testing abilities, they get the protective gear to the right places at the right time. Not everybody needs it. <laughs> Uh, and then some research, of course, on a vaccine eventually. Not going to happen this season, just to be honest with viewers. Uh, but if this thing becomes an endemic bug like the flu, we want to make sure we're sort of ready to go. And they'll put some money into more therapeutics and, and some of the diagnostic testing so we can make sure we're not getting false positives, but actual mm -hmm. cases. Mm -hmm. What would you say the role that Congress plays in moving forward with this outbreak, would you say? I think that's a fair question. Uh, I think, number one, reassure America, you know, that we're going to be okay. We've got a great public health care system. The recommendations I see from the authorities are pretty universal about, you know, just being smart, you know, clean your hands, wash your hands. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, when you go out, just be thoughtful, clean surfaces or whatever. Don't hang out with a bunch of sick people. The biggest problem or biggest threat is really to our elderly uh, that have multiple health problems. At the end of the day, these folks become more susceptible to a routine virus that most kids would probably shed. Uh, good news, at least with uh, the coronavirus, children are you know, getting milder symptoms, usually get over it in short order. Uh, but if you're a senior citizen, that, that uh, home in Seattle, for instance, that's a big deal. Right. And those, those people should take extra precautions, not go out unless you have to. Uh, you know, I would just stay close to home here in the near term. Mm -hmm. Last question, you're a veterinarian, you've got a lot of medical history. Um, I think it's a unique perspective. A lot of times out here, uh, people feel ignored by the East Coast. Do you feel like people in Washington, D.C. are actually realizing what's happening here is kind of we're in the heart of this coronavirus situation? That's actually a really good point, Danny. Yes, we do feel sometimes <laughs> neglected by the East Coast. But I tell you, with China being the epicenter of the more virulent strain that apparently is, is, is coming, uh, folks back east are very concerned and watching closely what's happened. I had a lot of questions about Lake Oswego. Uh, they're very concerned about uh, what's going on in Seattle right now. Uh, California, obviously, uh, new, new developments with Gavin Newsom, uh, calling emergency situations there. So yeah, we're finally getting noticed. And mm -hmm. the, what I'm hopeful as a veterinarian, to your point, interested in animal to human transmission, these zoonotic diseases, uh, fellow veterinarian in Congress from Florida and myself, the only two veterinarians, are calling for a One Health program where we'd actually be able to uh, be a little more prepared uh, and more coordinated in our response, both internationally, nationally, and with the states and local governments. Uh, we need to have veterinarians, we need to have health professionals, uh, our public health folks, our docs, all singing from the same hymnal. We don't want the CDC come in with one idea and Health and Human Services with another. So One Health would help prevent that, mm -hmm. and we're pushing that legislation right this now. This started from animals and jumped to yeah, humans. So. That's right. Yeah. Congressman, thank you very much. Unfortunately, we're out of time. Thank you. Thank you right. for your perspective. We appreciate yeah, exactly. it. Exactly. Thanks.